And we begin tonight with a major shift in the city's crime fighting strategy and a faith based organization known for its boots on the ground. The 10 point coalition has decided to scale back its citywide reach in favor of a more focused approach to crime prevention. All new at 6, Star TV 6's Jack Reinhardt joins us from the city's north side with the plan and what's behind the change, Jack. Well, Erica, we're here in Butler Tarkington, a north side neighborhood that's seen a relatively big spike in violent crime. And the 10 point coalition has chosen to make a stand right here and in the neighborhoods of the mid northwest side. In the bloodiest year on record, the Ten Point Coalition found itself strained beyond its considerable reach. No longer will the faith-based group spread itself across the city's most crime-challenged neighborhoods, deciding instead to concentrate in Butler, Tarkington, and the mid-northwest side. We feel like with the resources that we have, the number of full-time outreach workers and volunteers, that we can very effectively uh, patrol those areas. Butler Tarkington had four homicides last year, including the murder of a 10 year old child during a drive by shooting. The 10 point coalition stepped up patrols in the neighborhood, and neighborhood leaders are grateful they have decided to stay. It's patrolling the streets, it's talking about social services, just discussion about trying to deter the underground economy, which can sort of lead to uh, violent crime. Violent crime also hit the mid-northwest side neighborhoods, including four people found shot to death in late spring. It's an economically challenged area with an equal mix of senior citizens and youth. They're young kids. They don't know. And so if we don't get them, the street will get them. When the street gets them, it's a mess. Then we got to go ahead and get that mess cleaned up. More than just trying to suppress crime and retaliation shootings, the 10 Point Coalition has upwards of more than 20,000 street contacts per year. IUPUI will study the success rate of the coalition's outreach on job placements, youth mentoring, and after school programs and reentry services. You need someone to be able to tell the story and to really crunch the numbers so that you can measure your effectiveness in the areas where. Uh, you're located based on what's happening in other neighborhoods across the city. Now the city is working with other faith-based organizations to fill the void throughout Indianapolis, but for the 10-point coalition, while the locations may have changed, the mission remains the same. Live in Butler, Tarkington, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.